All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be doing something um, kind of cool. We're gonna be doing the bijou, all right? We'll get into the specifics later. Let's just get stirring, all right? So first thing we are going to need is 45 ml or an ounce and a half of gin. We are going to need a full ounce or 30 ml of the sweet vermouth, three quarter ounce or about 20 ml green chartreuse, and then two dashes of orange bitters. We're gonna give that a stir, pull out our Nick and Nora glass and pour it in. And we are going to garnish it off with a brandied cherry. That's what we got here, guys. This little beauty. God, I love chartreuse. It's so friggin' good. This is actually like, this is actually a variation of a Negroni. Um, it has the gin, it has sweet vermouth, and then instead of Campari or a bitter red liqueur, a bitter red Italian liqueur, um, we put in some uh, green chartreuse, okay? And then we get the orange out of the orange bitters. So there's still a little bit of that citrus in there. Um, it's an absolutely delicious cocktail. I love this thing. So the Bijou, um, this one can date back to the late 1800s. Back then they used to do full on equal parts of each ingredient. Um, it wasn't until f far later in the future where they decided to actually change the, the specs a little bit to make it a little bit more of a balanced cocktail. Um, green chartreuse is very, very, uh, it can be very, very in your face and it can overtake. So having a little bit less of that, a little bit more of gin, it just worked out kind of nice for it. This specs were first seen, or sorry, the original specs were first seen in Harry, in Harry Johnson's uh, Bartender's Bible, I believe it is. Uh, back in, the in 1902, I think it was when he released it, the 1900 version. It was actually named the Bijou because Bijou is French for jewel and the color of it, gave off that look of a jewel, of a jewel. I don't know, I mean, it realistically, the color is gonna depend on what vermouth you use. Gin is typically always gonna be clear, right? Green chartreuse is always green, um, but your vermouth can change. So if you're using a lighter, like they're always gonna be a sweet, which should always be a sweet vermouth, but sometimes the density of them can change depending on the grape and the wine that's gonna be into it, right? So the one that I have is pretty damn dark. Um, so the color of my Bijou is pretty damn dark, okay? Other than that, guys, this is a delicious cocktail. Highly recommend giving it a go. As long as you love chartreuse, I love chartreuse. It's a fucking, it's amazing little liqueur. Um, but anyway, that's all that I have for you today, guys. If you like these videos, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with more every single week. Um, if there are cocktails that you think I should be making, just let me know, hit, them, hit me up in the comments, all right? Cheers, guys, until next time.